Hey, what's good, my invisible but beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. I, well, um, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> um, I hope you guys enjoyed my other videos as well as my, well, the only videos I have. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy the quote, 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 unquote content I'm releasing, which really isn't content, it's just information. And this is my T6 ML, which I probably might change it a little bit more based on some of the tests that I have run. So this is basically the, the generic T6 ML, and I'll be explaining why. Okay, so sticking with the basics, of course, we have PvP defense success rate at 20, 10, 10, 18, 17, 10, no vengeance. Uh, agility 20 20 uh, for strength as well uh, mastery 10 okay I'm not gonna say anything but here you guys know you can you guys can pause it and look at it but for uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna be comparing the t6 and t5 a bit so I, as you can see the t5 the t6 uh, the set armor just look at the armor for example is 426. That's your basic defense increase. And this is 4, 420. Okay. So 426 and 420. Alright, there's a difference. Uh, 404, 412, there's a difference, but the courage uh, Dark Angel set is a bit lower. The boots, the same. The helmet, the same. And the gloves are the same. Okay. I am sure there is a visual bug of the DVI plus nine if not then I would have to talk about now I'm gonna have to ask one of the one of them no one of the uh, HGMs the uh, higher uh, game masters so if you look at the set the set the set item option info uh, you have the increased skill damage plus 80 increased strength plus 70 the double damage chance plus 22 percent increased damage plus 80 Increase crit, crit dam by 80, increase X dam 80, ignore enemy's defense 14, increase all stats, not just stamina, as you can see it's stamina for the set. Um, <clears throat> increase base defense by 80, increase crit dam by 22, uh, increase X damage by 22. All right. Now, as you as you can as you can see, when I said in my other video, is Cyber Moon a power creep? Yes, yes it is, and it may be a bad thing. It may not, or it may not. It really depends. You know, I already talked a lot about power creeping and is it, if it's good for the economy, for the game, or if it's bad, on a fan base level. So you can look at you can watch that video and I'll link that in the description down below. So back to T5 and T6, mostly T6. Uh, you have increased stamina plus 10. The set item option info. You have increased max life by 50. Increased defense by 40. Double dam 20 and whatever everything else. If you look at that, it's basically a better T2. But if you do look this the excellent courageous well, excellent courage dark angel knight armor i believe it's like a t4 but better as well t4 does increase your stats so now why this is important right here you can increase your stats as well as for agility and strength increase so if you're facing a t6 with a t5 you have increased Stamina by 10, which is your health, which is basically kind of useless in my opinion. Um, so, if you put 2020 for T5, and <clears throat> they have plus 15 stats, if they put 2020 as well, you're already overmatched. So, uh, that's why I always put 2020. You can basically overmatch T5 with that. Now, for PvP defense, of course, 20. Uh, maximum SD increase. I believe that T6, if you have a very efficient uh, timing at a uh, timing 
such as macro, then you really wouldn't need to worry about SD. So for this one, I think I would rather just put it as 10 or 5, in your opinion. Uh, 18 because 438, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's like increased by 7. And I don't think, well, maybe you could all put it in 20. But for my opinion, I put it at 18 for the like, defense section since they always go super low. And this percentage is 8.6 to 8.7, so it's kind of low. So I rather put it in other like in other sections um vengeance i r really don't put vengeance if i'm just focused on bm which, which i am right now i have two swords on not shield so agility increase strength increase since if i mostly focus on bm i wouldn't do uh, focus on <coughs> oh shit i wouldn't focus on uh doing any defense increase mostly so weapon block, no, no steel armor for this one. Yeah. If you guys want, then you know, <clears throat> it's always trial and error. I'm not saying that I'm right. This is just what I used, and it's been pretty decent so far. So lunge strengthener, of course, for me. Twist slash strengthener zero for twist slash mastery fifteen for weapon mastery, ten twenty twenty twenty. All right. <clears throat> now for the anger section, of course, attack rate for twenty. Since I am do since I am using double uh, weapons, twenty four strength smooth strength, no twenty four spear strengthener, twenty four spear mastery, and also one handed sword strengthener and one handed sword mastery. As I said before in one of my T five ML builds, one handed sword mastery does increase your speed. It does, it does. All right, it increases by one for one. So. 10 out of 10, you get 10 increased speed. And speed is very important. Um, <clears throat> so if you only if you do want this right here, the physical attack power increase by 32, it could be one-handed, it could be two swords, 15% increment, whatever, then uh, ditch the double damage and equip another one-handed weapon. And I believe, yeah, yeah, one-handed weapon, then you have the full effect of this, so... I recommend if you're using dual one-handed weapons to put this as 20, 10, and put this as 0, 0, and you have 40 more points remaining, and you can put it in any other section you want. Um, let's see, so 20 for Swell Life Strengthener for your buff, and since BM's defense is still significantly low, uh, <clears throat> maybe it would be actually a good idea to focus on some defense other than pure attack. Right now, my ammo build is pure attack. Uh, let's see, minimum attack power 10, maximum attack power 10. We'll have increased critical damage rate 20, 20, 20, and 20 as well. So increased double damage 20, it has an 8.82% increase. I think it's increased on chance. Yeah, increase. And you also has you just, sorry, you also have double damage rate increased by 9.02%. Not sure if it's bugged or if it stacks. That's about 82, that's 84, 8 plus 9, bring it forward, it's about 17. Yeah, it's about 17. 17% 17 increase. So if you're not using like a spear, then don't worry, you also have this to compensate for. But remember, when you have T6 and T5, T5 does have all of these options available, so um, the T6 is basically, yeah, power creep basically. I don't really have to say much more about that. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> what other uh, changes you can do is what weapon you use. So if you don't want to use lunge, such as Magnus Pier, I think it's Pier. Yeah, Magnus Pier. Then put this at 0, put this at 10, and do whatever else you want. I recommend you experiment a lot. So I did experiment by adding like twitching slash at 20 before 10, 15, uh, this at 20, 15, 10, 9, oh not 9, uh, 11 even, or you even 11 at this. So it's all about trial and error. The T5, uh, the, the glorious thing about MLs is master level build. You build what you want and you build, um, 
depending on what you think is useful. So I'm going to put a little bit of philosophy in here because I do respect and love Bruce Lee, such as in his uh, philosophy of technique and limitations. Uh, if you learn Taekwondo and you're a mastery at Taekwondo, say you have 10 mastery degrees, um, 10, uh, maybe it's not mastery degrees, uh, 10, I think it's uh, yeah, 10 degrees, 10 level of degrees of Taekwondo, then you are limited to everything that you know about Taekwondo. All right? Now, if you fight a man that knows jiu-jitsu and he's a 10 um i guess uh, level 10 degree mastery of jiu-jitsu then he is limited to only jiu-jitsu not taekwondo not kung fu not muay, not muay thai not krav maga uh not capoeira or whatever you're only limited to one of those styles so what bruce lee said um uh, with one you are limited with many, you are un basically you're unlimited. You're unpredictable. So, if you're unpredictable with your MLs, your quote quote unquote fun ML, I guess, then uh, I guess you have a better chance. But what I'm saying here is what Bruce Lee said: absorb what is useful and re uh, expel what is useless. So what I did right here, pushing back the victim two tiles is useless. So. Reject it, expel it, do not use it. This, if you think is useful, then use it. This, if you think is useful, then use it. If you think this is useful, that's useless. Refuse this, use this. If you think this is useful, use it. You know, don't be limited to what I say or what others say. You are you, and well, I am me. So. You, you basically have to do you, and I have to do me. But for this video, I will be showing you what I think is useful and what I think is useless, which I already have, kind of. So uh, that's just an insight of ML. Um, I am, I'm pretty sure that I know most of anything that regards ML because I have re said a lot of ML things, like a lot. <laughs> like, the, the, like, when I played this game, I reset it so many MLs and experimenting and even calculating with my calculator to see what like the best option would be. So uh, if this really doesn't help, then I really don't know what would, in my opinion. Uh, oh yeah, and also a good thing uh, to uh, keep in mind that if you uh, oops, if you want to like save your ML and not like change ML like a lot so right now let's say this is my t6 ml with dual swords i should say in the beginning this is my t6 ml with dual swords it'll probably be in the title so just type save ml and put it to one save ml one boom and you save it and if you want to load it which i'm not going to do now because i'm not sure if it's going to kick me out of the game or not so just type in load ml press one or two or three or four or five and I think five is the maximum you can save. So that's just a really good, um, uh, I guess, quick key to um, have your ML all set up. And well, that's actually it for this episode. Well, don't forget to smash the like button and slash the subscribe button. And I will see you all invisible people in the next video. Goodbye.